Uh, hello, everybody. This is Rich the Angry Irishman. I have at least one more that I can think of using a box in a car. And I'm thinking I could put some kind of ceramic doll or maybe a piggy bank or something that would be pretty much the same size as the one that Steve used. And I could show you the trick of it being taking off so fast. And you don't see any string because the string's not in the back of the box. The string is in the front of the box. And it's wrapped around something with the front seats. And it's going back to him. And guess what? It's fishing line again. It sure is. I'm not feeling all that well. That's why I'm under the weather. Uh, or under the covers. So I'm trying to do this this way. At least for now. Until I feel a little better. But there's probably a few other things I can do. Like um, I can wrap fishing string around a book. Inside a cabinet. And I don't need to wrap it around the cabinet door because pulling the book out will open the door. Um, and you can pretty much achieve this by using a very thin, thin fishing line and adjusting the lights in your house. Um, you don't want it too dark because then it won't be believable. People will think that there's something going on there. You know, there's some kind of little trick you're trying to pull. Um, the other thing is, is, it's always best to make sure that um, the person gets a good view of what it is you're trying to debunk. So if I have to, I'll go back over... Um, all the little, you know, fishing line tricks that I've pulled and do a better area of filming so that way it's a little bit bigger instead of being so small. But my point was just to get across to everybody that those tricks can be achieved by fishing line. It doesn't have to be magician string. And I wouldn't lie to you. There's no reason for me to. I'm not trying to gain anything. I'm just being myself. And I don't like being lied to by people who are only after money. Um, whether it's mine or somebody else's. So, you know, I feel that everybody should be... Uh, able to view the truth, not, not a lie. Um, and that's why I'm doing the debunking thing because I just don't think that it's right that these people go on YouTube, make millions of dollars and don't be fooled because they are making a lot of money. They're all collaborated with one another one way or another. They all have their own channel and they are all playing a game on people's innocence, if you will. And they're using it to their advantage. YouTube is mostly a marketing thing nowadays. Uh, if you ever see the rewards that these people get, uh, they get paid by YouTube. They get paid by Randonautica. They get paid by uh that spirit box, the download thing that you do on your on your phone. They all get paid commissions um, based on using it in their videos. That's how they make money. And the apps actually collect money off of people that actually download their apps. They're not free. They cost money. Um... 
the Randonautica app. I'm pretty sure that that's all staged. Um, because more than one time I've seen people showing up in the uh, episodes that people do. And, you know, they're creating havoc. So I think it's actually somebody that's hired by them to show up in a person's video and and make it more interesting. So that way somebody else download their app. And I'm pretty sure that that's somehow getting paid to um, either by your data or some other means. Anyway, um, like uh, Angry Cajun TV, um, my channel is uh, Richard the Angry Irishman. And I need subscribers. I really do. Um, that's about all I need. I'm not asking for money. Um, just view and subscribe. That's it. Um, I know there's not a big audience up here where I live. I've tried to get my friends to, to look at my videos, but I guess too many people got too many things to do. So um, I guess they'll make that available to themselves when they can. Anyway, um, I just figured I'd spread a little more of the truth. Um, like I said, I don't think it's right that they're lying to you guys, and I don't think it's right that they're taking your money, and I don't think it's right that um, um, they claim that they're something that they're not. Uh, it's not. It's not a joke. It shouldn't be made fun of. Um, and most of the real paranormal investigation stuff, uh, the real stuff actually happens at a cemetery. Okay. And if you have a lot of cameras around and everything else like that, and you have a, uh, one of those indicators, what you're doing is you're actually, your indicator is feeding off your camera. It has electricity, a juice, battery, whatever you want to call it. It's finding the electro electrical current. So, that's pretty much a fake too. You know? Alright, well, I'm sorry this wasn't a little more incitive, uh, but I just wanted to get across to everybody that I will be doing more. And I will be doing um, probably longer videos and showing you how to as well. So hopefully this will get across and I hope you people will enjoy it. And if you do, just uh, subscribe and hit that little bell for post notifications. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.